Hi guys, welcome to another video from Triple T Golf. Do something a little bit different today. I noticed that a lot of amateur golfers, when I'm playing golf with them, or whether I just see them on the course, if you struggle with your driver, or your woods, or anything like that, that's pretty much it. It's kind of like game over, really. Your mood changes, you can't concentrate on any other shots. So what I've decided to do is just show you, in my opinion, what helps me. Film a couple of holes of me just playing solely with irons. All I've got in my bag, if I have to pitch in wedge with the three iron to drive, and my putter. So the idea is, it's going to get me to play shots off the tee that I'm not used to playing. So should I bring my driver and it's not working like I want it to, I know I can switch back to the irons. I can still get a respectable score. At the same time, it's leaving me with longer approach shots. And that's only going to help as well in terms of if I do scuff a drive in future. So this is the idea. I'm just going to film a couple of holes, me playing with my irons, see what I score. And hopefully it might even help you in your own game. So yeah, hope you enjoy the video, guys. I mean, that was a pretty good tee shot, really. It's not something I'd usually do in this. It's not something that um, I recommend doing all the time because we all want that 300-yard cracker of a driver, don't we? We all want the Bryson DeChambeau-esque drive that gives us 50 yards into the, uh, into the green. But what I'm realising, I mean, this one as well, you'll be able to see it in a minute. It was a three-iron. I got a little bit underneath it, if I'm honest, so it wasn't the best strike. But I'm still left with probably about 130 into the green. Which, if you can do that, and you can control it, and you are having an off day with your driver, it just gives you a little bit more of an option, doesn't it? And that's what we're all after. We're all trying to make the game a little bit easier. Very warm today. And there's a huge influx of flies that's decided to, uh, to feast on me. And yes, if anybody wants to put in the comments, I know it's a bit of a scruff, but needs must. I wanted to come out and film something. I wanted to get out on a nice day. And that's what it is. So there we are. Middle of the fairway. I don't know if you can see that, but it'll come up now. There you go. Middle of the fairway. Pins at the back. Probably, yeah, probably about 140. So let's hit this onto green. Stay on, stay on. We might have got lucky. A bit too much of uh, a bounce, I think, but. Oh, let me get up there. So look, I mean, at the end of the day, I'm not pro. I'm not a by coach. But even when you've had all the lessons that you've had, I still imagine that you have days where you're just not looking for I do. So this is to prepare you for them days, really. But I mean, I'm now putting for birdie. I've been lucky enough to stay in the top here. Um, and if I'd have hit the driver, I'd still be happy to be putting for 13, obviously. Take that. So we get a nice little par. There's not many golfers, amateur especially, out there that wouldn't settle for a par. So where it doesn't really affect your game when you're playing with uh, iron zone is on a par three. So play this one, and then the next one is par five. So this is a 132 yard par three for an eight iron. Pull it to the left a little bit. Yeah, do a nice kick though. I've got a lovely kick of that, we'll turn it all day long. There you go, so we've got that for birdie. I think this is a good example as well because there's a guy teed off just in front of me and I had to wait for him. 
and he had a couple of nightmare shots and it was his driver and then he tried to use a fairway wood and I'm round here now and it looks like he's disappeared so it looks like he's got fed up and gone home and maybe that could be because of the driver who knows or them fairway wood shots come on then come on then he should have maybe played with irons only And who knows, he might still be out here. I might be completely wrong and talking rubbish. But that's two holes done. Even par. But now we face the ultimate test. Obviously it's a par five. We've got... Um... Oh no, he's still down there, bless him. Still plugging away. Good lad. That's what I like to see. Yeah, like I was saying, this is the big test. All four, par five, 500 yards. Playing with only irons. Now, I will let you into a little bit of a secret. After the 72 holes, I had about four or five days off. And I played again last night with uh, Mr. Stan and uh, Darren and Carl. We played nine and then we went to play 18. We stopped halfway through because we got a little bit fed up, to be honest. It's a shame because I was playing quite well, but we just ended up messing about doing uh, trick shots on Tick Green. Um, but I took an iron on off this, took a five iron, and I actually birded it. So let's see if I can do the same again, eh? Right, so we've got the old Callaway three iron, trying to go over these trees here to the right hand side. And yeah, usually the more you can cut off, the better. Let's see what we can do. I don't know, that might be okay. Let's get down there and find out, eh? So we got lucky, kept it in. I say lucky, it's put us in a good position to be honest. We've got oof, way over 200 yards to go. Now I could try and take the three iron again from the fairway, but I'm more happy and I'm more confident with my five iron. I'm not under no pressure now to try and get it to the green in two. So all I want to try and do is get it around 100 yards or so, so I can uh, I can try and pitch it on and get it somewhere near for a birdie chance. So let's see. I'm trying to aim it left of the green here because everything slopes down to the right. And that's perfectly in line with the pin. Hopefully we've got about 100 yards maybe a little bit less to, uh, to have a birdie chance. Okay, so I can see the ball already. It's in a wonderful position where I wanted it to. It's actually gone over the ditch, which is a bonus. Um, it makes a nice little bump and run quite easy. But a question I did want to put to you guys. Like I mentioned, I played golf with Stan last night and he said to me, he's getting a little bit bored of playing this course. Now that's nothing against Whitwood Golf Course, but We've just done 72 holes here in a day and we play here quite a lot. Now, I'm a member here and so is Darren, um, who you see on the channel quite a lot as well. And it is our local, well, it's my local course anyway. Now, if you've got a membership at a golf club, how often do you play other golf courses? Not including competitions, but just for fun with your friends. It'd be interesting to know because uh, I do think sometimes it's like now, I'm going to play this. I know the best shot for this is a bump and run because if I can land it just before the green it will roll as you can see there's not a lot of grass and it'll go from left to right now if that works out perfectly it should be somewhere near and I've got a birdie putt I, I don't get that same excitement when you get to a new course and you're not really sure of what you should be hitting or where you should be hitting it's like then when you saw me tee off I've teed off over the trees because I know that if I cut that corner it's easy to cut and it's it's quite rewarding if you make it. It's just a question, just put in comments. How often do you play other golf courses? So I'm gonna take a nine iron here. I'm gonna try and keep it low and just, just bump it on. I'm aiming to drop it, I don't think you can see, but somewhere between the flag and the bunker and just hope that it'll roll on. I might be a little bit short. 
Yeah, it is. I think I might have just missed the green just by a couple of inch. Not a great shot, to be honest, but we've still got a chance for birdie. So, like I said, the line and everything was perfect. The ball was coming round. It's just, uh, it's just, just not moved as I'd like it to. I will go put the camera behind the flag. It's gone wrong way. It's gone the other way. I didn't expect that. I hate these putts. Even par. So we threw even through three holes using nothing but iron. Right, you're lucky lot. I've decided to give you a bonus hole. Um, because for anybody that actually watches the channel regularly will know that hole five at Whitwood. I hate with a passion. I'm, granted, I got a birdie on the 72 all day there, but it quite often than not ruins my rounds. Even par for the day today. Let's see if my iron only can uh, beat the dreaded hole five. Wish me luck. I explain to you all how warm it is out here. Right, so we're going to take three iron again. Um, the aim again on this hole is always aim it at the top to the left. Because if you do get the slice, which I am known for, you've got quite a bit to the right. And if you do hit a good shot and it lands up the left, the chances are it's going to bounce down to the right anyway. I do have a bunker that might come into play today. We're meeting it a little bit shorter. But let's just shut up and hit it here. I'm going directly over to that bunker. I might have actually gone more right than the bunker. But it should be alright, I should still have a shot off him up down there. I've actually got the bunker, which is there behind me. So yeah, give him a little bit more righter than it, but... Righter than it? I've actually gone round it. So, yeah, good position. Well, can't see the green, but... It's not the worst position in the world. I'm kind of aiming, if you can see it. Just to the right hand side of that 150 marker. And just over that hanging tree. I am about 160 away. So I'm going to take a six. Because I'm coming out of rough as well. And just hope that I can get a decent kick. I think it might be short, but it's definitely online. So far, so good on five. The thing is, I don't even know why. I struggle on this hole because it's it's kind of straightforward well it really is straightforward I think it's 360 yard one on green oh that was a good shot but very slight dog leg to the right the only thing I can think of is that there's all them trees to the left and even though there's these trees to the right at the other side of these trees there's a footpath well the closer I get to that shot the better it looks and I'm thinking maybe sometimes with the mid fairway irons maybe I've got that in my head that there's uh, you can't see it but it's through them trees there a little pedestrian path that runners and joggers and cyclists and families and hence the reason why the fence is up there the problem is the fence isn't there <laughs> And I've just got, not only that, the ball's going to go over that fence, it's only tiny. So maybe I've got that in my head a little bit. At the side of the footpath, there's also a big river. So maybe I talked myself sometimes into going a bit further left. And maybe I end up there. But that was perfect. I don't know if you can see that. You should be able to start, it's starting to come into focus, I imagine. But yes, yeah, Pinai. Definitely the right club, and I thought that was going to be uh, going to be short. I don't wish to tempt fate, but I've got a 10, 12 foot putt for birdie on my hardest hole. I might play with irons only forever. Right, we'll uh, let you into a secret. This Scotty Cameron putter of mine has only just gone back in the bag because it's not been playing well. I'm currently in the market for a 35 inch putter because I think. I was playing with a cheap one that I had, which was 35 inch on the 72 all day. 
and I seem to have a little bit more control over the putts. Right, everybody, this for birdie. Now, I know from history, if there's any break at all, it's left to right. There's not a lot on this putt. No! I said left to right, so you aim it straight at all and it goes right. So yes, I missed that for birdie, but I did get away with the par. So what that means, I'll tell you what that means. It means that I've used irons only through four holes, number two, number three, number four, number five, and I'm still even par. Tell me an amateur golfer or a starter golfer that wouldn't take that. Yeah, all right. It's not going to work for somebody that just picks up some clubs and thinks, right, this fat Yorkshire bloke on YouTube says that if I just use irons only, I'll, I'll be even par. <laughs> I wish it did work like that. But what I am saying is for you golfers that are struggling with your driver or any of your fairway woods, don't fall into the stigma of, I must hit a driver. I must hit a three wood. Take your irons. Take whatever's working for you. Because at the end of the day, it's about that score. It's about you. It's about being able to relax and have a little bit of happiness. And yeah, at the end of the day, if that means hitting an iron for every shot, so be it. Who cares? Don't matter. One other thing I will say, I'm only playing six holes today, just so I can get out of the house and get something done. Don't always think you have to come and play nine holes either. I think it was James Robinson that said on his video that sometimes you just come out and play three or four holes. It works, you know? Just come out and play, just keep playing. From Triple T Golf. Surrounded by my fans, look. <laughs> Signing off, I guess. Have a good one, until next time.